My name is Kalu Henry. I am the author of Back Pocket Pasta, host and creator of Kalu Cooks on Patreon, and I have nearly 100 recipes up on NYT cooking. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the perfect pot of beans. If you know me, you know that I love beans. There's nothing more satisfying to me than to make a pot of beans on a Sunday and know that I'm gonna have it in the fridge all week long. Beans are like a perfect food. I eat them for breakfast, I eat them for lunch, I eat them for dinner. I'm a proud member of the Rancho Gordo Bean Club, which had a waiting list. I love beans so much that I actually made a white bean t-shirt. And my roasted tomato and white bean stew was the number one New York Times cooking vegetarian recipe of the year. There's nothing I love more than a legume. So let's make a pot of perfect beans together. The first thing I do is soak my beans in salted water overnight. Although, I'm honestly not sure why people always say overnight. Clearly you can soak them in the morning and make them in the evening. Everyone's still working from home. I've done this a number of times. Um, you wanna add enough water to let them soak about two or three inches above where the beans, like two, you need, you want like two or three inches. <laughs> you wanna soak your beans with water that comes up about two or three inches above the beans. I hope that makes sense. And you wanna add salt. Not like pasta water salty, but like a generous pinch because it'll start flavoring the beans. When it comes to aromatics, I use always onion, garlic, and olive oil. Sometimes that's all I use. Other times I like to poke around in my fridge to see if there are things that I can use to put in the beans that'll be upcycled. So leek greens or herbs that are on their way out or lemon or I don't know. Let's take a peek. Okay, there's some questionable parsley, half a carrot, <laughs> some fresh bay leaves that are now kind of dried, <laughs> a little bit of fennel, the most important thing are the onion, the garlic, and the olive oil. So I think for this video, we're gonna keep it OG. Or I guess it's Elgo. Is that a thing? It's a thing now. Onion, garlic, olive oil. Let's make these beans. Beans, beans are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you find. The beans have soaked. Today is tomorrow. And we're ready to cook our beans. We are not going to drain the beans from the water that they have been soaking in. We're going to cook the beans in the salted water that they've been hanging out in overnight. What I'm gonna do is add in one onion, six cloves of garlic that I've smashed, and a good couple of glugs of olive oil. So you first wanna bring the beans to a boil and let them cook for about three to five minutes. And then you wanna turn them down to medium, medium, low, so they're just simmering. The most important thing is to keep the beans submerged in water the whole time. When we were in Nova Scotia, they had an electric tea kettle. So Chad and I would get this really amazing tea from the store called Rose Bay General. They had this insane mint tea from Germany. So we just got into this routine where like every night at 10 o'clock, we call it tea time. When we got home, I insisted that we get an electric kettle. Well, tea time is no longer, but the kettle has come in very handy for my bean cooking because you always want your beans submerged. So if I see that my beans are getting a little bit dry, I'll just, this will make water boil in no time at all. And I'll add this to the pot so it doesn't bring down the entire temperature, which then I have to raise back up again to get it to a nice simmer. Quick tip. Remember to taste your beans along the way to make sure you know when they're ready to come off the heat. Once you eat a handful of beans and they all are velvety and delicious, you're good to go. For the sake of today's video, I'm going to keep these beans simple and beautiful um, and finish them with some fresh herbs, 
some really good olive oil, some flaky salt, and some fresh, freshly ground pepper. Um, and I'm gonna call it a day. I got basil here, beautiful basil. With the larger basil leaves, I prefer just to sort of tear them as opposed to cut them. And the smaller leaves can just stay as they are. A little bit of olive oil, some flaky salt. And there you have it. Beautiful, beautiful beans. I gotta taste a bean. Beans still my heart. They're so delicious. They're sweet. They're velvety. It's more than I could have asked for. I love these beans. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and tune in next time where I'll be making my roasted tomato and white bean stew from the New York Times. See you then.